right, we got a special customer just showed up at the shop today. It's me again. And he has an empty trailer. I'm not taking equipment home this yeah. time. Yeah, well, that's that's a, the bad part of this deal here. <laughs> you guys see my sign up here, it says CNC equipment. I said it's an equipment trailer, so it falls under the equipment part. Somebody thinks they need their trailer worked on, so. You've got some, uh, what are we doing to this thing? Everybody on the internet says you're the best there is. Yeah, everybody, everything I have, everybody says you need it, so. Well, I need my trailer fixed. <laughs> Maybe so. I just need to buy a trailer and sell you another trailer. Oh. Well, you go. go ahead and load it up before we come and get it. You do it for repair price. And when you come back and pick this up, it's going to be full of something. So. Especially that big floater truck everybody wants you to oh, have. Oh, so. I know. I'm, I'm Clint. You should know by now I have one truck that I'm having a hard time getting finished. Too many other too many other projects. See, I, see I'm pawning off a project so I can get back to Lieutenant Dam. You're pulling off my project, so people are guessing I'm going to get my crew cab done before you're Lieutenant Dan. Well, that's a given. There's, no, there's nothing to guess there. I'm, I'm on their side. All right. You got, uh, how do I say this nicely? This is your job. It's my job, but I don't work on trailers. Well, you... so I, I guess Mike's had this at a couple other places and he, uh, I guess nobody would work on it or didn't have time. Zero luck. You know. It was at one shop for two weeks, never touched it, called another shop. And he said I can maybe get to it in a month. Uh, called another two other shops and never called me back. I fully understand you don't normally work on trailers, but uh, I appreciate you taking a chance to help me out here while you are technically slow. So I see we need some hub seals. You said some airbags. Yep, hub seals, airbags. I see you got some fancy metal working stuff yeah, in there, so maybe we'll got maybe some we'll... weight reduction going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe right there. We need we need some chemo treatment. We got yeah. some cancer there. I see some shocks that need replaced down there. They're still there. That's the good news. Still there. I'm surprised Officer Hoover didn't pick on you the other day. Well, there's a, <laughs> the, the, the snow helped me out. All right. Worried about the lake, good so. thing Clint and his dad weren't helping Hoover. <laughs> 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 they were. <laughs> his dad was trying to throw me in jail. <laughs> You'll do that. <laughs> so we're going to get this thing in the shop uh, probably tomorrow here, get it up on the lifts and see what all parts we need and go from there. See what kind of can of worms we can open up. So Thanks, Clint. Yep. All right, guys, you can see Mike uh, dropped me off a jewel of a trailer here to work on. Kevin's getting the forklift back behind me. We're going to try to pull it in with it. We did uh, loosen the brakes up on the one axle that had the maxis on it. I'll show you that later in there. But normally don't work on stuff like this, as I said earlier. But we are somewhat slow, not really, in the shop. I opened my mouth up the other day with Mike, and uh, he took advantage of me. <laughs> But anyway, we've got to do some work, as we said, brake chambers, airbag shocks, that kind of stuff. So Kevin's going to get her little miniature semi-tractor here, and hopefully we can pull this trailer in the shop. Sounds like he's checking this turbo. You going to need turbo for this application? Oh my, some people's children. <laughs> We're gonna get hooked up here. See what we can't tear up on this trailer. <laughs> Kevin's getting a bigger forklift. Usually we can move something like this, but Mike's got this uh, pipe hanging out here, so we can't get up close enough to it to get enough weight on the forklift. It's getting light on the back end, so. We're going to get the big mow out, so I had it set up here where we could just pull it straight in the shop with a little forklift and get out from underneath of it, so probably what we're going to do now is have to pull it out and turn it around and back it in the shop because we've got the uh, crew cab army truck sitting in the way of the bay, or we could just pull it all the way through the shop, so he's going to get big mow over there, and we'll see what happens.
kind of tilt the same at angle. It's kind of acting as a pivot there, so Kevin's going to make a big sweeping turn out and back it in the door over there. See how good his driving skills are. All right, guys, got uh, Mike's trailer here. I'm actually putting air into the uh, emergency side of the trailer, which is gonna air up the uh, airbags and all that stuff. We've got our shop air turned on about 120 pounds there. That's what, about what truck pressure runs at. You to see what all kind of air leaks and crap we got going on here. Sharing up, yep. I think so. I don't know what that valve is. He's got. Uh, well, it looks like the dump valve to dump everything off. Yeah, the trailer's going off. The trailer is going up there. If you guys can see that. So this thing's all air ride. He said he had a couple of leaks. We're probably gonna replace. I know these bags are getting old. I just want to get up here and make sure there's no other leaks besides a couple of things he pointed out. Definitely going up. Yeah. And this uh, lift axle here, watch your feet. You got this lift axle down. So we'll get air on everything here and then uh, see what all we're leaking. All right, all in all, I don't hear any big air leaks at all, um, which is good. So other than just replacing bags, Randy's going to unhook the air out there and we're going to put it on the brake circuit now. Um, we're going to replace a bunch of these brake chambers are all rusty. Somebody's already put one on there. Um, these are really bad back here, so he's going to swap the air up front there and we'll see what's happening with the brake system. All right, we're checking the brakes out now. Kevin's uh, got air brake air in the front of the trailer. He's got them plugged in right now. I'm noticing this one shaft over here has not been moving at all so it's stuck or the brake chamber's bad or something's going on so he's gonna unplug that air there you watch this one. you see this one moving that one that one right there is not hardly moving is there a little bit but something's going on there in the back here you can see you see both these brake adjusters right here Go ahead and plug it in, Kevin. You'll see him flip back. You guys seen that real quick. Now let's air off. We should be going, We're going back here. Going back slowly. So, we probably got a sticky one up here. We actually got these backed off so we could tow it. Those have a spring chamber in them, so when the air goes down below 60 pounds, it actually applies the brakes automatically. We, we backed those off so we could roll the trailer in. Um, We'll get this thing up in the air and see what's going on with it, why some of those are sticky and not working, so. All right, we got the four wireless calling lists underneath uh, Mike's trailer here. We're getting ready to uh, pick this dude up. I've got a remote here.
we got her all raised up in there. We got the uh, column lifts locked in. I'm gonna walk in under here and take a look at some stuff. You guys can see that airbag here. That thing's all cracked up. This one here's the same. So these fill up with air and uh, if they get cracked up, they can leak out. See this one's got some big old cracks in it right there. This one's cracked up really bad. Look at the back here. It's definitely cracked up bad there. So all six airbags are gonna be replaced. You guys can see that super sweet shock there. That thing's rusted up. We'll take a look at the other ones too. That one's definitely rusted. That's the same way here. So all the shocks gonna be replaced, the bags. Other thing he's worried about is the U-bolts. The back ones are really rusty. This uh, concerns me inside of here what these look like. You can see that pocket swelled there some too. So indicator, it's probably rusted up in there. What we'll probably do is pull a, uh, get a U-bolt out of the back back here if we can. You guys can see in there that's um, getting pretty rusty. So we may have to do something with this whole situation there that's not looking real pretty inside's not quite so bad so anyway we're gonna get some of this stuff tore apart here get some of these u-bolts out and we'll go from there all right we've done a little closer inspection there um looked at all the brakes they seem pretty good they're definitely good for a good while yet didn't see the hub seals leaking he does want to replace these these are getting hard to see some's leaking I was checking them all to make sure they was full of oil, so, um, you know, those hub seals are all dry, so that means either two things. The seal's working or there's no oil on these, so they're all topped off like they should be, so that means the seals are good. So hopefully we shouldn't have to go in the back side here into the, uh, take any of the wheels or anything off. You guys can see in there, but everything's dry. It's good looking brakes and drums everywhere, so definitely will pass for a good while. Once uh, Randy's up underneath there, lubing up some bolts try to help us out a little bit taking some stuff off we're gonna get after it all right so we've been taking off some parts you guys can see this u-bolt here this is an inch diameter right here you look up here that's definitely not inch diameter you guys can see that that's like probably three eighths or so that u-bolt was just about done for and that shock is done for too but those u-bolts are actually inside to where you can't see that so seeing that on this first one probably going to go ahead and replace all of them we'll take a couple more out and see what's going on well, we got the airbag unbolted this style just had three bolts in the bottom of it um randy's got a uh i think you need to go down some more randy did you beat that on there a little bit I'll yeah take your impact off you know another way so this thing's rusted up and uh you can only get a chrome socket in there it's real tight clearance so get keep coming keep it All right. so there's one big nut that usually holds the top of these airbags on range gonna try to bust it loose up there so I'm sure something's gonna break or strip out Go ahead and try it. yep Got denied. Why don't you try to tighten it a little bit, Randy? Get back out of the way. Come off. Looks a little hot and steamy up there. You got her. Yeah. All right, is that the only thing holding that? That's the only thing I've seen. Just a bunch of rust. Give her a whack here with the hammer. I'm gonna have to get some chisels in between here, Andy, and get her wedged out. All right. All right, got the bag out of there. It kind of fell on the floor, didn't it, Andy? Yeah. There's another nut up there holding it, and of course it just broke off. So, 
we're gonna get some part numbers off some stuff and some measurements. I'm gonna order some stuff. No all kinds of room in there now, huh? Oh yeah. A rusty old mess. So Randy and are you gonna help Kate or are you gonna help Randy now? You like that, don't you? He got done with his project, so <laughs> I guess they keep on walking their way up the trailer and take some of this junk off. I think we need to take this uh, lift bag off too next. It's all cracked up too, um, since it's different. I need to get a number off that now that I'm looking at it. So we'll get that one off there next. All right, Ranger's taking the bolts out of the back side of that airbag there. You guys can see that. And this is the airbag that lifts the axle, the rear axle back up on the trailer. Not quite as critical, but if it does blow, the axle's gonna go down. So while we're here, it's all cracked up. We're gonna go ahead and replace her. We need Randy. I'm uh, just trying to get some of that bigger rust out. Oh. Of I'm just putting rust it out. You want a hammer? May have to. Need the socket on there. Drive socket in. Nothing rusted on this trailer. All in all, it's pretty solid. It's just these components that sit out in the weather. Don't you know, Got pretty good bones. The other thing I see a little bit concerns me up here, those clevis pins are really rusty. We're gonna have to take a look at those, maybe replace those two up oh. there. Well, you guys can see that, but we got a big old rusty bolt. It used to be a three-quarter socket, now it's got a 11 16 socket on it. Those tools. Yep. Got it. Hmm. I took the wrong airline loose. All right, I'm gonna take the airline loose for that, and we'll get it off here. All right, I'm gonna take this airline loose here. This is for that uh, lift bag that we're taking off. It's a lot harder to get to the other end. It's up in a little cubby hole in the bag side, so we'll take it off here. And then once we get the bag out, we'll take the other end off. So. All right, Randy's gonna pick this axle up a little bit so we can get some slack in these chains to get that uh, air bag out. Hopefully picking on this one side so gonna get us enough. You ready? One up. Yep. Take it on up. All right, that should be good, Randy. Just leave that under there for a second. You wanna go up there and try to catch that airbag? So we're taking that lift bag out. I'm gonna hold this up. Hopefully Randy can get uh, that bag out. You ready? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's all we needed, we got her. Just like that. All right, so we got us a whole array of rusty old parts laying up in here. The studs are starting to get rusty on that. I'm going to get a parts list together and see what we can find. And uh, I think Randy and the guys are going to go ahead and start taking out the rest of these bags and shocks. I'm going to get brake chambers ordered. I know what kind of those are. I'm going to order a few slack adjusters just in case we need some. Um, I did try to spin the shafts to make sure everything was free. It seemed all right. So we all that stuff apart and go from there. All right, Kevin and Randy's got a big old pile of rusty parts here, don't you? More rusty shocks, rusty oh, airbags. Yeah. Looks like a lot of stuff broke. Mm -hmm. Definitely was uh, not any good. So they've got, uh, got about everything stripped out yet. Still got some brake chambers to take loose. What else, PU bolts here and there? I got new U-bolts ordered, brake chambers, airbags, new hub seals, new trailer. I think it'd be easier just to do the new trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna get the rest of that stuff off and uh, I guess we'll get back on this when uh, the parts show up. So I'm gonna do a little welding, cutting back here in the back of this. And, Get rid of some of that weight reduction there so 
All right, guys, got parts ordered. Should be coming in, a lot of them today. We're gonna get to work on the back of this trailer. The first thing we're gonna work on is this uh, axle pocket here. As you guys can see, it's got some serious weight reduction going on there. So I'm gonna cut a piece of metal out here and probably a couple on the sides, kind of strengthen that back up. We've got one of the U-bolts out and I've still got one in there yet. You guys can see that U-bolt is not real good shape there, so. I'm gonna go with the plasma cutter, cut a piece out here and we'll actually bend it a little bit in the break. Um, and then I get that all done and welded up. I'm gonna cut these mud flat brackets off. You guys can see they've got holes and stuff in those. They're all bent up. I'm gonna cut those off. We're gonna cut these tail light brackets off. We'll probably reuse those. We're gonna get in here, cut all this off the plasma cutter and uh, get all that cleaned up. This has some serious weight reduction. This is where his three marker lights was. We'll get that cut out of there, cleaned up. Do the same thing over here, just to repeat of the process. So we'll go over the plasma cutter and get that uh, piece cut out there and bent and see what we got going on. All right, so we're here in the plasma cutter room and I've got this one piece we're gonna put on the uh, front of the spring perch here, drawn up and uh, get some parameters set here and we're gonna see if she'll fire up. three pieces cut out there got that one I got two of these I'm gonna throw them in the belt sander here and get them cleaned up a little bit all right got those pieces all cleaned up we're gonna go over here to the trailer We've got to bend this one a little bit. See what we got going on with it. You guys kind of get the idea of what we're going with. We're going to bend that dude there a little bit. To match that angle there in the press brake over here. I think it's looking good. Let's see if we can fire it up. could bend that in a vise or if I wanted to but we've got this super cool press brake over here it's more capable of doing that so turn on our rotor phase got the piece we just bent you guys can see that uh, bend there Looks like it's fitting pretty good I think that'll work so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna slide uh, 
piece down each side here and kind of see what we got going on. I'm gonna get all that cleaned up a little better down through here and stuff. Randy's been working on all the uh, mounting surfaces where the brake chambers was. These airbag drums, we're gonna put some uh, rust converter on those, get that rust slowed down a little bit, and then we'll get some primer and paint. Put on all those surfaces so it'll last, uh, last Mike a good while. Um, let's see if we got all those cleaned up, painted, and primered before we put the bags and stuff on. So I'm gonna get that welded up and then we'll knock this back out. All right, we got that looking a little better. It didn't weld up the best. It's hard to weld old rusty metal, but it looks a lot better than it did. So we're going to uh, carry on to the back. I think we got that strengthened up and up. That should last them for a good while. So they're all welded up there. Like I say, we still got to throw U-bolts in this thing back there. Next thing we're going to do, I believe, is lower the trailer back down. Randy's got all these. Uh, we'll let these drain out over the weekend, the hub seals. We got new ones for it. He's got them all cleaned up. So we're gonna lower it down and get to work on the back. Well, it looks better anyway, don't Randy? Yeah. There's not much left of that uh, no. light bracket. Oh, it's all rusted up. To cut these off, I think we can probably reuse these. We'll sandblast them, repaint them. I think we're gonna go ahead and cut all this out here and go ahead and replace it while we're here. Um, I can see a lot of rust build up behind it. This one looks all right, I believe. You guys can see that build up in there. I'm gonna cut those out and make some new ones. got those cut out I'm gonna show you something here you guys see that I actually cut that out you may have seen it drop on the floor there this is all rust stale that's why we took those things plumb off here there's still a big, big layer in there yet 
to get that out of there. Somebody's replaced this one, so I'm feeling confident that hopefully they cleaned that all out and did the right thing. Mike was kind of just wanting to patch this, but I'm glad we took these, took these out. You guys see all that flared up or else it's a big old mess, but definitely glad we took those out. Got a bunch of cleanup to do. Randy's cleaning the taillight brackets up. He's gonna get in here, grind all these welds smooth, get all this chipped out of here. Probably, probably be best to sandblast it. Unfortunately, it's cold outside and this is a pain in the butt to move since we're on the truck, so he'll probably send us a needle scaler. We'll get some rust converter on there. Get that all cleaned up. We'll probably put some weld through primer on here and then weld in the new pieces. And then uh, we'll probably take all this tape off, get new tape. Get everything welded in, do it right while we're here. And then we'll go from there. I'm gonna get some pieces cut out. All right, so we're back in the plasma cutter room again. I've got, uh, you guys can see that very well. We've got uh, those five pieces drawn up. This one here is gonna be that light bar on the back in the center. We'll have to bend the 90 degree on that. We've got two mud flat brackets and these are gonna be our two uh, uh, 45 pieces on each side that we just cut off so I'm gonna I've got those drawn up in one program so now we've got to put it in a uh, picture of my boards there we got to put it on uh, another thing called sheet cam here and it's gonna tell the uh, plasma cutter what to do here or I'm gonna tell it what to do so there's all of our pieces set up so I'm gonna select, um, the first thing we'll always do, we'll always cut these holes inside first, because if we cut the outside first, that thing could fall and shift, and then the holes will be off. So I'm gonna do the holes first. Select that okay. So there's the torch. It's gonna come over and start cutting all these holes. You guys notice that little green line is inset. And the torch width is um, different amps to be different widths. So it set in half the distance of the torch. So you actually get, say that was a 3 8 hole, it's gonna have to set in a little bit so it don't cut it bigger with the torch curve. So we got the holes cut. Now we're gonna do the outside offset for the torch. Then a default. That's gonna cut the outsides there. So you guys will also see, I'll try to show you these green lines here are actually the lead ins and leads out leads out so it's not going to start exactly on the corner it's going to start out here and loop in around um you guys can see it's kind of hard to see there but it actually will fire up right here start cutting then it will come in here and when it comes back around it's going to do the same thing if you try to start right here in the corner it'll blow a hole out so this program does all that for so we're going to run the post processor it's going to write up uh whole bunch of numbers that we don't know what they mean and then we got to save it and then we'll put it over another computer which talks to the uh, plasma cutter all right so we got it in our sheet cam program we've got our torch set up over here it's kind of tricky because i'm trying not to waste any steel my two pieces are actually longer than this distance here so I've got them up and slid over, so we're cutting above that notch here. That's why the torch is zeroed out. It's actually cutting over here. It's not going to cut through that piece here, hopefully. So we've got a notch up here, and I've got these longer ones overhanging. But we'll see what happens here, and we'll light her up.
All right, we got our two 45 brackets cut out. Got our two mud flap brackets. And then we've got this uh, light bar on the back. If you remember right, we had to bend this here. 90 in here, so I've got a back gauge in the machine there. I've already got it set. Look out. Might help if I don't drop it. It's kind of hard to do one here. So, I'm gonna set that in there. I've got the back gauge set at two inches already. This piece is six inches tall. We need to bend it at four inches, so fire up the roto phase. Start the press brick. Let's see if we can't bend her. Good. How we doing, Randy? Right. Getting her cleaned up? Trying to. Trying, trying to. to. Ah. Randy's been using the needle scaler, getting all that rust out of there. We got most of it right there. Yeah, a little bit left. Got this side cleaned up. Pretty much. I've got uh, parts laying out there. I actually just got a load of parts in. It's got some new airbags. We're still waiting on a couple airbags. Got new brake chambers there. New reflective tape, new brake hoses, all kinds of stuff. So, we'll, uh, Randy's going to keep on cleaning on that, and then we'll get that stuff welded on. Got our pieces over here. What are you doing? Blasting? we got a big old blast cabinet here. Once that rusted piece off, he's cleaning those off. You want those other pieces in there? take all that mill scale and stuff off these and they'll weld up better and paint up better. Kevin got these blasters. I'm putting a little weld through primer on the back side of these because we can't get to maybe if it works because we won't be able to get very good paint on there. I want to spray these all up on the back side. Here, that's some kind of copper type coating. And then we'll spray that area where this uh, 45 degree piece is going in there too. I get my spray can to work. And then we'll get them tacked up. Got those pieces all coated. Got these coated up here in here. We had those all shiny and I sprayed this um, rust converter on there. You guys see that? And it actually turns the rust black. I don't know if it works real well. I've used it a couple other times. But we may use it down there. It's hard to kill out rust without getting in there and sandblasting it. But we got that converted and we put some weld 3 primer on it. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to get these plates up there, tacked up, and I'll start welding stuff on.
Yeah, yeah that'll work, Randy. So we got uh, everything welded up, turned out pretty good. You guys see those welds there? It's hard to weld the rusty stuff. I did leave the, I welded the uh, sides and the top solid. And I left uh, some drain holes in between here. It doesn't need to be welded up solid. If you do weld it up solid, it does happen to get water in there. It will actually freeze and bow the metal out, believe it or not. Repurposed these, put those back in there, got those welded up, got them some new mud flap brackets on. Got a new light bar in the middle. It's out of quarter inch steel, it's a little overkill, but that's just what I had sitting on the trailer, so got it all welded in there. Get this side done just like the other side. So all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. I know this video is getting uh pretty long here so i think i'm gonna wrap this one up we still got a bunch of work to do yet um we've got a pile of rusty parts here we gotta get rid of we're waiting on a couple more airbags and a couple more u-bolts i think i've got an appointment here this afternoon i gotta be at so i think uh I may get uh, kevin and randy over here and get them sanding on this trailer we're probably gonna paint from this corner all the way around here I'm going to put some rust converter on those spots where the airbags and the brake chambers was. And they'll primer those and paint those black and get this all ready. So if we get back here tomorrow, um, get that taken care of. But that's probably all going to be in the second video. So if you guys like what you're seeing here, um, definitely give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think about all of it. So definitely helps the channel out. So, And uh, if you're not done so, definitely subscribe so you don't catch... Uh, episode number two of this so i think this video is getting pretty long that's another thing you guys let me know in the comments how long you like these videos um you know this one's probably going to be a 30 35 minute video or so if i try to put it all in one video it's probably going to be over an hour i think it might be getting a little long i usually try to shoot for 35 45 minutes but you guys let me know what you think on that so but uh looking good we'll get her in the next one catch you guys later